Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make STL files with Google's Gemini. So, let's get started. All right guys, obviously the first thing we are going to do is navigate over to Google's Gemini. Once we are there, we are simply going to copy and paste in this prompt that I'm going to have in the description below that basically just says, generate me a high quality render of whatever I'm trying to create. It says right here, object name, and right there we'll put in whatever we're trying to create. And it will make you a nice picture with no background, with a good lighting that we'll be able to give to an AI image to 3D generation tool and it will be able to make whatever picture we generate right here. So now let's go ahead and put in what we want Gemini to make us an STL of. All right, so what I decided to make a 3D render of is a worship benchy boat. So let's go ahead and hit go and see what Gemini generates for us. And for some reason it is in Spanish, I don't know why, but it is. So anyways, here is the picture that it generated us. So we're gonna go ahead and download that picture. And now you're probably wondering how we can turn this into an STL. Well, I'll show you right here. Hey guys, real quick, if you're watching this video, you probably do a lot of 3D printing. If that's you, I'd greatly consider Coax 3D Filament. It's made right here in the USA, prints clean and stays consistent spool after spool. They even offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so there's zero risk. So use Austin's Lab for 10% off Coax 3D Filament. But now, back to the video. So first, what we're going to do is go over to Maker World. And this is a website with a ton of free STL models just to download. And then what we're going to do is come over here to the left hand side and go to Maker Lab. And then from here we are going to go over to the image to 3D tool which you can also just find here in all and it will be located here right here image to 3D model. So we're gonna go ahead and select that tool. And then we're going to upload the picture of that boat that we just generated with Google's Gemini. So Maker Lab cannot generate its own pictures. So you will need an outside source like Google Gemini to generate a picture of what you want to make a 3D model of. And then from there, we can make the actual STL with this website, Maker Lab. So then we'll hit generate and we'll wait a little bit and once it'll done it will generate our 3D file and then we'll have the option to export it. So once this is done loading I'll show you guys what I mean. Alright guys so that model loaded right here and as you can see it is a pretty good representation of what we just wanted it to generate so again here is the photo that we just told it to generate and here is the model itself so i think it is a pretty good representation of what we fed it in this um, image to 3d generation tool it is pretty powerful but if we want to export this now as an STL and print it or whatever you generated, what we're going to do when we have internet is come up here and click export. And then it'll ask us to use some credits and making a free account, you start off with some credits for free. So we're going to use those and hit confirm. If you don't have a Bamboo Lab printer, this does not matter because it's just going to create our STL file for us. Again, when we have internet, I just dropped again for some reason. But once we have internet and click OK there, it should load up our option to download our STL or 3MF files. All right, my internet finally came back. And this is what I was talking about. It'll give you an option to download as an STL, a 3MF, or a GLB, depending if you have colors in your print or not, or the picture you sent it. Um, and if you did have colors in it, it will copy those colors over and you will be able to print this in a 3MF or a GLB. I just showed you guys a proof of concept of doing it in a plain white print with a white background, which 
it makes it the easiest for these AI tools to generate 3D models as if you have a plain white background. But again, I just wanted to show you guys this proof of concept and showed you with this pretty plain boat that I had it to generate. So we can click whatever file type we want and then click download and then we'll see that it'll pop up right here and it will download that. And then we can click on it and then it'll open it up in whatever our default app is for opening up STLs. For me, it's my Creality Slicer. And then you guys can see that this is now a boat ready to be printed. And we can print out that boat right now if we wanted to. Super easy image to 3D by using Google's Gemini. But with all that being said, guys, that's it for this video. Now you know how to make a 3D model, an STL file from a picture generated from Google's Gemini, then uploaded to Maker Labs image to 3D model AI generation tool. And then from there, you can have a 3D model of whatever your heart desires and whatever you can get Google's Gemini to generate you a picture of. So again, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video and want to check out some other videos from me, then check out this video where I show you how to turn any logo into a printable STL file. But again, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.